Hello all, welcome to this session of WWF's Environmental Footprint Calculator. So if you already know about what is ecological footprint, great, we can go ahead. Otherwise, you can watch this video about basics of ecological footprint. And previously, we have discussed about one footprint calculator and that is from Global Footprint Network. So you can also check it out after this video with this link and also it is provided in the description. So let's begin discussing today's topic and that is the WWF World Wildlife Fund for Nature. So they are having this environmental footprint calculator. So uh, you have to go to this link footprint.wwf.org.uk. Okay. So when you go to this link and also this link is provided in the description as well. So to take this test, uh, you have to go there and you have to just take the questionnaire so i have previously uh, taken this test so that's why it is saying me to retake the questionnaire otherwise you can just begin okay i'll click here so this is the most comprehensive and also very easy to use so user friendly calculator so they are having all the four areas first is about food then travel then about our home and then the stuffs we buy so all these uh, areas all these categories are covered so first is about food in that four questions are there so first question is how would you best describe your diet so whether you take meat in your diet or not so accordingly you can select the proper response so i'm vegan so i'll click over there so to go ahead for this questionnaire so whatever is correct answer you can just select on that and then it will take you to the next question and if you want to go to the previous question it is over here bottom left side so previous question if i click here i'll go back to my previous question and i can see which answer i have selected a large proportion of greenhouse gas emission comes from food so for each question the description is given on the right hand side so you can see why diet is important in the carbon footprint right so whether you are having peat or the dairy product so that will add the carbon footprint let's move ahead so question number two from the food is in a week how much do you spend on food from restaurants canteen or takeaway because this increases the carbon footprint because the restaurant it is having its own overheads okay carbon footprint overheads and at the same time whenever you buy from the restaurant so you have to drive from your home to the restaurant and to the back to the home right so this again adds the carbon footprint that is spent for that food right so generally I don't uh, buy this often so it is very less so uh, I'll select 1 to 10 pounds question number three is of the food you buy how much is wasted and thrown away and this is very serious concern one third of the food produced all over the world is wasted so and there are so many people there who are starving for malnutrition so this becomes a big challenge we should not waste food so i try to uh, i do not waste food whatever comes in my plate and I also try to minimize the food waste in our home as well so i would select uh, zero to ten percent how often do you buy locally produced food that is not imported to the uk so uh, this particular wwf's and uh, environmental footprint calculator is for the UK residents so if you are not from UK don't worry still you can go ahead but consider it to your specific context okay so let's say I come from India so I'll just talk about I'll just think about whether I buy the food that is locally sourced or not so yes a lot of the food I buy is locally sourced so I'll click over here then we come to the second part which is about travel so what kind of vehicle do you travel in most often as a driver or passenger if any so i generally uh, use a bicycle or walking but yes i do sometimes use motorbike as well so i'll click over here and one important point to discuss about this is so whenever you are answering the questions for travel so please make sure you are inserting the let's say all the details with respect to what tra travel do you take for your leisure or for your personal use or to go to work and to come back to your home please do not include travel which you do as a part of your job so let's say if you are a delivery person so you have to go you have to travel a lot so that comes into the, your employer's ecological footprint right so that is one thing 
that is common for all the questions in the travel guide. How many hours a week do you spend in car or your motorbike for personal use including commuting? So commuting is whether you go for your school or colleges. So my commuting is very low currently so that is under 2 hours. Question number 4 for the travel is how many hours a week do you spend on train for personal use including commuting? So generally in my day to day commuting uh, I do not travel by train so work from home is there. So I'll select I don't travel by train. Question number 5. How many hours a week do you spend on the bus for personal use including commuting? Yes, so it is under 1 hour for me. Next question. In the last year, how many return flights have you made and traveled to the following locations? So you can check. So this is with respect to the UK. So domestic then up to 1250 kilometers up to 200 and uh, 2500 kilometers right so you can select accordingly so if you have if you are from other part of the uh, world also so you can just press here whatever if you have flown in the last year you can plus and minus over here how many flights you have taken otherwise you can keep as it is and click on next question Right, so we come to the last question of the travel. What percentage of the flights do you offset? So offsetting means uh, as the flights are having huge environmental footprint. So to offset our negative impact on the environment, so we can by purchasing carbon offsets or by traveling by let's say bicycle, which you do not do regularly. Right, so that is the offset. So what percentage? So I'll select not applicable for me. Next, we come to the third category that is about home. So what kind of house do you live in? So house, it is important because uh, the energy efficiency, the energy requirement, so which depends on the type of house we live in. So I'll select flat over here. Second, how many bedrooms does your house have? Right, so I'll select two. How many people? Adults age 17 and over live in your house. So in my house, three adults live. So I'll click over here. Then how do you heat your home? So uh, to tell you the specific context of this. So if you are from, let's say, European countries or America, so you have to heat your home, right? So it is cold. these are the cold countries. So if you are from the, let's say, India or Africa, so you might not need to heat your home, but you might need to cool your home, right? So, which energy you are using? So generally, uh, we have the electricity for that, air cooler. Is your electricity on green traffic? So whether you are using the renewable energy or not. So if you know, you can answer. Otherwise, you can click I don't know. Or if it is less than 100%, you can click over here as well. Okay. So let's click I don't know for this point. Question number six is, do you regularly turn off lights and not leave your appliances on standby? Yes, I do because many appliances, though they are on standby, they consume a lot of electricity. How warm do you keep your home in winter? So it is same applicable to the, let's say, countries which use the cooler to cool their home in the summer. Okay, so you can select accordingly. So if it, if it is in the winter, so if you are keeping it one degree Celsius lower, then it is energy saving. In the summer, if you are keeping it one degree Celsius on the warmer side, then it is energy saving. So you can select accordingly. The last question from this home category is, which of these home energy efficiency improvements are installed in your home? So to talk about my house, yes, we have energy saving light bulbs, the LED bulbs. Then we have, uh, let's say double glazing, we can say, uh, low flow fittings to taps and showers. Yes, we have and you can select accordingly condensing boiler loft insulation the cavity or solid wall insulation whether you are aware whether it is installed in your house or not Then let's click on the next And we come to the last part related to stuff or the production and consumption. So how much do you buy? So this question talks about in the last 12 months, have you bought any of these new household items? So yes, I had bought mobile phone and TV. We had 
more than 15 years older TV, so which we used for more than 15 years. After that, we had to buy the TV this year. So you you should try to use your appliances, use whatever things you have for the longer duration, use it durably, so that you are not adding, you are not part of fast fashion, All right? The next question. In a typical month, how much do you spend on clothes and footwear? So I generally do not buy the stuffs out of impulse. So just have a habit of buying whenever it is needed. So it is very low. In a typical month, I do not spend on clothes or footwear either. So it is zero pound for me. Next question is in a typical month, how much do you spend on your pets and paid food? So actually I don't have a pet, but why this question is there because Though uh, having pets is a good thing, but yes, they are also having their footprint, right? Because they are dependent on us and we are spending on behalf of our pet. So you can check the answer according to how much you spend on your pet. The next is in a typical month, how much do you spend on health, beauty and grooming products? So I have very minimal consumption of these as well. So I'll select zero to 10 pounds. Because these all things consume electricity or energy or resources somewhere, right? Question number five is in a typical month, how much do you spend on phone, internet and TV contracts? So it might be one to 30 for me. Which of these type of vests do you recycle and or compost? So yes, uh, it's about food, paper, plastic. So what I would suggest is in some part of the world, uh, you might not be doing it by yourself, but government is asking you, the municipality asks you to segregate these products and then collect the waste, right? So if you're doing that, I would recommend you can select that, okay? And finish. So after completing this test, you will see it is asking us whether you live in UK or not. So if UK, you can go ahead. Otherwise, you can select other and just continue to the results. Now we come to the very important point where you can see how much is my footprint. Okay, so we can see my footprint is 8.45 tons. Okay, so this is equivalent of carbon dioxide, right? So it is 80% of your target impact on the world. So let me tell you what is this. So for the UK, from the year 2016 to 2045, so UK has decided to reduce their footprint on a linear reduction scale and each year they are reducing the footprint to aim net zero by 2045 okay so for this year if you see the uk's 2021 target was 10.5 tons and uh, 8.45 which is around 80 percent right and you can see over here also world average the uk average and mine right so to check the detail about this footprint so here you can see view full results so whenever i click over here you can see the breakup of the footprint so around 19 percent comes from food 34 percent from home 20 percent from travel and 27 percent from the stuff so for each of these category you can select and you can check how you can reduce your footprint so these are the tips that are given so we will be discussing in short. So first tip is eat in season. So whatever seasonal food is there, seasonal and local, that is good to go. Tip number two, eat less meat and dairy because these are huge, huge contributors to the carbon footprint and methane. So try to eat less or be vegetarian or vegan, right? So that will be a better option. And tip three, add some variety. So whatever food you are consuming, so if you are consuming pulses, vegetables, fruits, so that is great for your health and great for planet as well. Let's come back to our second category, which is the home. Let's see some of the tips. So first switch energy providers. So if there is possibility to switch for the renewable energy, go for it. Install solar water heater, install solar panels that will be great for the reducing your ecological footprint. Second, make the switch. So energy efficient bulbs, energy efficient appliances you can buy. 
and embrace new technology so this is about uh, automatically switching off your uh, cooling system or your lighting system so that is also possible these are high end solutions let's talk about travel so we can reduce our travel footprint first very simple is use bicycle this is great way for your health and for environment as well tip 2 is about use public transport whenever possible use public transport or travel and if it is not possible drive smartly right so first priority should be you should walk if not possible use bicycle if that is not possible use public transport or tram if that is not possible use carpool and then if everything is not possible then you can drive your motorcycle or your car but make sure if you are driving it so please maintain it well so that the emissions the footprint that you are driving is having that we can minimize right so let's talk about this the last one that is about the stuff the things we buy the average consumer is consuming a lot that they don't need so please ask yourself whether you require this item or not say no to fast fashion so buy expensive good quality durable products that will be great for environment and second tip is buy second hand if possible try to buy the second hand items which will reduce the ecological footprint and which is actually these items are also great in quality okay so please check if you can do that yes so you can see all these details all the breakup of ecological footprint and i feel after completing this test after completing this questionnaire one thing that you can take away with you is try to implement at least one small activity try to focus on your food at first whether it is small or big the action doesn't matter but if you are consistently doing that it will have the bigger impact some day over the period of time so let's let's commit ourselves to at least start with one small activity by today please complete this test the link is given in the description and also the wwf comes with one application as well so the application is available on app store and google play as well so you can get it you can check uh, what else you can do and many more great tips on this app as well so i hope uh, you like this video and it's been helpful for you so please give me one like and please put your views in the comment as well share with your friends calculate your footprint tell them also to calculate theirs also and have a discussion how we as a community can grow we as a community can uh, improve can encourage each other so i'm waiting for your response for this video please do let me know have a great day take care bye